at Mocap Girl via Mocap Solutions. In this last video in our short series, we're going to be looking at active markers. This is the last type of technology we're going to be looking at to help us identify the many different capture processes used to capture motion in the VFX and games industry today. So what is active capture? Active capture is very similar to the optical process, except uses illuminated LEDs to record the movement of people. Rather than reflecting light back to the camera system, the markers are powered to emit their own light, which can increase the volume and distance for capture. So when is an active marker used? Active systems is one of the alternatives for using motion capture on film sets, where an optical system with a passive marker would not produce enough high quality data for post processes. This has proved popular for outside capture as the LED strands can be controlled remotely, turned on or off, or made brighter to deal with the ever-changing light conditions. At Weta, the use of an active marker has been successfully developed through the Planet of the Ape series, where a robust LED on the actor's suits allowed more readable data in dark conditions, such as the forest or the night film in New Orleans. While optical is still usually the most popular capture process, active markers are fast becoming the alternative to allow motion capture to go beyond the studio. So the next time you see an actor or suit and booted, but their markers appear to be red and connected by strands, you will now know the difference between an optical and an active marker and how they were captured. Thank you for joining us for this short series and always stay tuned via Mocap Solutions and that Mocap Girl.